What's up guys, welcome back to another Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. This box right here is the February 2020 Inshore Saltwater Box. So, let's get right into it and check what's in here. Alright, so there's the box. Of course, first there's the, the Dibble. It just has um, the Dibble tips and tricks. So, obviously, what it is, gives you tips and tricks. And just some stuff to read about in here. I always like to read through that when I get the uh, box. And then next up, every month, you get a sticker in your box. This is the pretty cool Catchco bomb sticker. Uh, I always like getting those stickers. Um, and then after that is the, the What's Inside card. It gives you a list of all the baits inside and the prices on them. So... Start with the first one, the Westin Bucktail Shrimp for $9.99. This lure right here look looks very like really really nicely put together. It looks really really quality. The head is like shaped like a little shrimp. So um I don't know, it's just a different presentation than your typical bucktail. It could get if other bucktails aren't working, you'd switch to this, it could get you bit. Um, the hook looks really, really good, and the skirt is tied on really, really nicely, and it's got, like, it's really, like, full. This just looks like a really quality lure that I think I'll be able to use a bunch in the, uh, in this coming spring for maybe bluefish and, uh, stripers, and I think I could even get some fluke on this, too. So, um, and you'll see as I go through the rest of the box, I'll be able to pair up some of the other lures with this bucktail to be able to catch like fish more efficiently and like it'll just give it better action and that was $9.99 that's that's like an exp pretty expensive lure that like I, I wouldn't typically always spend ten dollars on my lures so it's nice to be able to get it out of these mystery tackle boxes and next up is the Lunker Hunt Rattle Spud Jigging Spoon so this looks like just a typical spoon. It's a little bit of a different shape, so it might have a little bit of different action. Um, this I could definitely see myself catching um, like a s little snapper blues when they get a little bit bigger in the uh, like late summer, early fall. And last summer when I was fishing for snappers, I even caught um, I caught a Spanish mackerel on a. Um, one sixteenth ounce trout spoon because the snappers were still really small so they weren't able to eat like the bigger lures and I ended up catching a Spanish mackerel on this tiny tiny spoon that was made for trout so this could even get me like a Spanish mackerel or some other exotic fish species that uh come come up from the, the uh, Gulf Stream and it's got a nice little rattle in there to like like call in the fish from further away I think that this it's definitely good lure to have in my tackle box. Uh, like, just if I need it, I'll tie it on. Yeah. And next up is the Z-Man Street Z Curly. Okay, wait, hold on one second. The Lunkrout Spud Jigging Spoon was four ninety nine. All right, back to the Z-Man Street Z Curly Tails in pinfish color, and that is four forty nine. So, um. This, these lures, I could um, pair it on the back of the uh, the bucktail. I could fish it on its on its like on its own with a jig head for um, fluke for um, like like smaller bluefish. Like I think I could definitely get some good use out of this this spring and summer. And also I could like replace it on like a instead of using gulp on a high low rig it won't get torn up as much since it's got the elastic like all this z-men soft plastics do so like i'm going through so many gulp this summer and uh, last summer that this like if i'm able to catch the fluke on this it would be a really really good replacement and i would just um like not have to replace my base as much and so what i what i was just wanted to say was the mystery tackle boxes like are great because like you're not like always like you're usually what i do is i buy baits like based on like what i'm going to be fishing for in like the near future these just like build up your tackle box so like if like 
is it like it makes you ready for any situation that like the fishing's gonna throw at you so like like you might not have like a a spoon like this in your tackle box but like if there's like fish around that are gonna want that spoon and you don't have the attack like that in your tackle box you're not gonna be able to catch them so that's what i like about getting lures that i normally wouldn't buy like it gives me the chance to catch fish that i wouldn't normally have the right lures to catch if you guys know what i mean by that and next up is big bite bait bait fat grub for 249 a little chartreuse uh, grub with a red tail and this also I think I would be able to like if I'm not getting bit on the typical gulp this has some more action and a different colorway like that you wouldn't really see in gulp so I think that I could either put that on the back of the bucktail or I could rig it on a high low rig for some um, fluke and that'll also like I was saying before, it gives me something that I wouldn't typically have in my tackle box. And lastly is the Hurricane Single Drop Wire Bottom Rig for 189. And this, this is good because if you're consistently getting bit off by like whatever, like if you're fishing with bait and you just keep getting bit off by bluefish or like, I don't know, like just anything with teeth this is just good to keep in your tackle box so you just switch over to it and then you catch whatever keeps biting you off so right, that's it for the baits so i spent like 15 dollars on this box and got like 25 dollars worth of baits so obviously it's worth it and like i was saying before it gives you baits that you wouldn't typically have that could catch you more fish in the future and Alright, so I'm going to continue to do this monthly unboxing, so comment down below if you want me to get another inch or box for March, or I could get go back to trout, I could go back to the bass box, I could go to the, I could get a panfish box, there's also carp, catfish, and multi-species, I think. So comment down below what you guys want to see me get, and also comment down below anything you guys think I should do differently with these unboxings, and um any other kinds of videos that you guys want to see in the um, in the coming weeks so thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe